Hello, Robert Magupas here, day two of Master Builder Workshop. Today's lesson is, is you don't have to have success before you start your business. Seriously, I want you to think, you know, when you opt on to an ad or if you've been looking around on the internet for a business, you've been seeing a lot of people presenting, you know, big, huge mansions, you know, yachts, girls in bikinis, you know, a little glitter here and there, all the hype. Well, you know, a lot of people buy into that. Possibly even you might have bought into it. And, uh, and uh, that's just the fact that people naturally are gullible. All right. Now, that being set aside, there's... A, few things the reason why I'm addressing this area here basically when you start a home-based business you want to look at it from a mindset of an entrepreneur you don't want to look at it as a consumer perspective okay you want to be able to understand your prospects and you want to move forward with them. And what I mean by this is generally is when people call up and they ask questions, especially here's a number one question here where a lot of rookies get hung up on. And this question is, is very basic. And it's really a bad question when you think about it, okay? But you you know, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, you don't want to come right out and explain to them that it's a bad question. And that question simply is, is for your prospect to ask you, well, how long have you been in this business? Or even better off, how much money have you made at this business? Which is very common. And it's a bad question, but you don't need to tell them that. You could uh, uh, handle it in a few different manners, such as, you could ask the question, return the question, as far as saying, well, that question I'm going to answer, I could tell you haven't been in business before because that is a rookie question, but I'm still going to answer that for you anyway, John, in this case, John. It really isn't about how long I've been in the business. I've only been in business, for example, let's just say four days. The main question is, is when are you getting in, okay? Or, for example, it's not really about how much money I made. It's really about you, you know? Basically, it's about your skill sets, your determination, your fortitude, because you could come in underneath me and you could far pass me up. You know, or you could just do all right, or you could just come in and do nothing at all. It's all up to the individuals and how they perceive things. And if they allow fear to, you know, paralyze them. Because after all, fear, also fear stands for is false evidence appearing real. Now, I want you to also ask you this simple question. Do you go and ask your... Uh, doctor that you go see, your physician. Well, how much money do you make? Or how many uh, uh, patients do you have? Or or your automobile mechanic, you know? Uh, how much money do you make? How many people do you have? I mean, you see where I'm heading? We don't do business with people that are like that. People generally don't do that, so... Don't get caught up in the hype with all the glitters and the mansion and the drama that you might have been global enough to come to. Because it's out there. You don't have to come across like that. Just be genuine with people. That's my, my tip for today for the workshop number two. This is the Master Builder. And we're looking forward to day three in the workshop.